first away day of the season this weekend. Tom, what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, it's exactly that. It's been a long time since we've been together for a couple of days in a row. Um, so after the training in the morning, we'll be boarding the bus and heading north. So both teams have got relatively off to good starts in terms of, you know, we both moved off zero points, which I'm sure all managers want to do. Um, and we both played teams that have been heavily, you know, back to, to do very well in the division. So I think both Chris and myself will go into the game, you know, in, in fairly good fettle. So looking forward to the game. You'd want to come into the new season and ease into it, but we get thrown a little bit of a tricky schedule, don't we, where we're going Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Monday. Mm. Does that bring in any you know, difficulties when the players are just getting back used to things? Well, when I spoke to you last week, I mentioned about you know, the, the, the aim of pre-season is for us to have as many players as we can fit and well to be picked. And at the moment, <clears throat> with another couple coming back today, this morning, back on the training ground for the first time in full training, um, the options are going to be you know, decent for the first game of the five coming up in nine days or whatever it is. But it seems to be, to me, a little bit of a, a really heavy schedule. Everybody's got it. It's just, you know, depending on where you have to go and travel to in the country, um, as to whether it, it makes the schedule even more demanding. So, obviously, we go to Halifax and we go to Braintree. Um, and then after the, after the following weekend, we're off again, aren't we? So, um, yeah, it is what it is. And playing an opponent that, you know... It, in time sense, we haven't played that long ago. Do you look into that at all, or do you think things are going to change? Obviously, they've kept the same manager, they've kept a few of the same players, or, or do you think it's going to be quite different? Well, they had a successful season themselves. You know, they, they managed to get themselves in the playoffs, and I think just their their actual schedule at the end of the season done for them. Really, you know, they were playing every couple of days, and <clears throat> whilst they kept going and they made it into the playoffs, unfortunately for them, that that finishing line. Was was the game before really? Um, so, no, we you know we have to look into them. We've only played one game, so obviously we've had a look at them. They'll have had a look at us. They'll, we'll both see that we're, we're both slightly different. Um, but I, I, I like pitting my wits up against somebody like Chris. I think they're, they're a very well organised side, very well coached, um, and you know you're in for a tough game when you come up against one of his one of his teams. And are we looking at uh, continuing the good form in the sense of the attack? Obviously, had he scoring two goals, we're going to hope for him to be firing again, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, not just Haddy. I think, you know, looking at the, the group all week, I was talking to Terry at the side of the pitch watching and training this morning, and I think, feel we've got goals all over the place. I mean, Haddy didn't score in pre-season, but most of the others did. So, you know, I'm, I've always been a big believer in it's not about who does it individually, it's about we doing it collectively. And we, we managed to score three goals on the Saturday, and, you know, unfortunately, we, we conceded three we just try and do one, uh, one less in, the, in, the, in our goal in, than in theirs, really.